Yeah, it's not bad at all. So I'll just come tomorrow for a thank you for the blonde. Blonde. Sorry. No, it's fine. So guys, I bleached my hair at the salon. They did a terrible job because I don't think they know what they're doing because they didn't know how to make the hair ultra blonde. So I sat on YouTube for hours, and the trick is to have a certain type of uh, conditioner or shampoo that keeps um, the hair, I mean, stops the hair from being copper and rather makes it an ultra blonde. So I went and I bought this, let me show you, and I've got that in my hair right now. I didn't re-bleach my hair, I just did, I just um, opened the packet, which was 115 Rand, and I only used the anti-brass conditioner. So it's blue and I'm already seeing that the hair is turning more blonde. So I'm gonna keep that in for a bit and then hope that it turns more blonde. So this is what I bought. Garnier Nutris. Bought that. And then I only used this inside. So I've saved it just in case I need to re-bleach tomorrow. So this is a few days process. <laughs> channel this is the new look okay 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 tell me what to think tell me what to think <laughs> i've got these two lines from sunburn from the cornrows i had um wow guys i'm really 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 loving it i'm getting used to it really loving it i'm actually going to talk about two things today why i cut and my experience so far um relating to hair care and all of that Okay, so the reason I cut my hair is actually not that deep. I know a lot of people are looking for depth in it. Let me pause the dis dishwasher. Sorry, that was making such a noise. Um, a lot of people are looking for depth in it. I think I am a deep person, but the journey that I have gone through, through um, initially cutting my hair this short, um, five years ago, growing it, learning it, and being sort of more naked in my natural hair without as much braiding and weaving um, has led me to a point where I'm not as attached to my hair and I don't view uh, my beauty as so attached to the physical anymore. My beauty is so inside. The only thing that I still do struggle with is my body because of um, just my body changing as a woman. I'm getting wider around the hips and I am gaining a lot of weight. Um, I don't associate the weight gain with being a woman. It's just like lack of exercise and um, my portions. I eat a lot. I don't eat a lot compared to other people, but I eat a lot for myself. Sometimes I eat even when I'm, when I'm not full, but beyond that point of satisfaction, which is something that I need to work on. Um, There's a little bit of gluttony that I'm working on. But anyway, so um, when I cut my hair, I thought I'd feel some kind of hectic, like loss and tragedy. There was none of that. Um, I, I didn't even feel relief. It was just like, ah, great. Um, I wanted it off and I made a decision and I followed it through. Um, it took me a while. I decided on this about three months ago. It's taken me quite a while. And I was with my sister when I did it, which really helped um, push me over the edge. And then the reason I bleached my hair blonde was that I knew if I don't do it now, I won't do it later. So by the time I get to the darker stage of the hair, um, I will have tried this out. I just needed to do the big things now. Um, bleaching hair is 
processing hair so my hair is not hundred the, the hair the existing small hairs are not a hundred percent natural because they have been processed via bleaching which is a chemical um, it can damage your hair actually it does um, process your hair and damage your hair and your scalp so what will, what I will do is that as my hair grows I'll decide if I want to bleach it or not I haven't decided on what, what on, I, haven't, I haven't decided on what the journey is going to look like but you guys will be here to follow it with me um, as my hair grows out, I'll eventually cut the damaged part as I usually do when I have bleached my ends before. Um, if you over bleach and you're doing it like every week for a very long time, you could ultimately damage your scalp. It's like braiding continuously for years. Um, you do can lead to um, alopecia, non-permanent and permanent hair loss. We actually have started a, a, a hair loss um, support group with uh, my um, mentor uh, Dr. Dlova. Um so I'll be introducing you guys to that slowly but surely on Instagram and here on YouTube I will be doing a video with her as well she has actually um, created her own products that she sent me actually uh, just last week and I started using those products which is amazing um, I do I look forward to also formulating my products with her and her assistants she has a PhD in natural hair and skin she's a dermatologist and she's currently I think the Dean at UKZN which is really awesome okay so guys number one shock maintenance wise my scalp dries out it's insane as well as the hydration um, evaporates so quickly and the air just hits my hair when it's air conditioning because i was driving yesterday for five hours from bloemfontein not five hours three and a half hours but um come in nosy oh it's locked so wow the hydration evaporates so quickly like it's insane so definitely upping the hydration um, so I'm going to show you now how I've been taking care of my hair. Obviously, I'll tweak it as I go, but this has been working. So I first definitely hydrate with the Love Kings spray. Guys, please, when I did the first video, I was experimenting with the bottles. Please just keep this to water and the instructions. So mostly water and a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioner is mostly water as well. So do not put thick stuff. It does clog. So it's mostly for water, it's amazing. It even refreshes the hair much better. And then I follow up with leave-in conditioner to shake it up. I'm also struggling to um, measure how much product I need because I'm so used to needing a lot of product for my hair. Um, so I've learned now that you need so little product. So my products will probably last me much longer. Um, I am standing under water in the shower daily. I don't advise that you put shampoo and conditioner daily because it um, can dry out your scalp. Conditioner, not really, but I just think products continuously is not necessary. Stick to that once a week. Uh, but plain water, not bad at all. And then I do a few drops, not even a few, like one or two drops of oil. And then I massage that through. Remember, oils are not moisturizers. Oils are basically nutrients. And I don't know if it's nutrients, but it's good stuff for your hair. Like this one has jojoba oil and a lot of other oils that are really good. Obviously, you can Google the different benefits for different types of oils. Others are for growth. Others are just for sealing. So it depends what benefits the oil has. And then last is shea butter. This is the Afro Botanics one, but you can use what you wish. So this is like literally almond size. I've never believed in almond size until now. I think you need almond size for hair that is this short. So you see the scalp gets a little bit white because of the product, but it does go away. So then like sometime during the day, I hydrate again. Like I spray, I'm not going to spray now, but this is the fine mist spray available on Love Kings. It's back up now and I've got thousands of them. So I've got for everyone after such a hectic delay. Yo guys, I was so stressed this December. My boyfriend was actually saying our holiday wasn't as um, stress-free as we had wanted it to be because 
my suppliers, I had two suppliers, the bottle suppliers who do the shipping for me from China, completely disappointed me. Everything was very late. It was supposed to take 45 days and it took like more than double, like over 90 days. And then um, the, the pajamas lady just completely messed me over. She's run away with the funds and she's just not picking up, not replying to messages. She's just basically called it. So I was upset about that, but my dad sat me down and he was like, Business go, businesses go through um, extreme um, stress points and if I make it my whole world, it will cause me illness. He's diabetic and he's got intense headaches and he's young and he says most of that actually comes from business stress because he's been in business since 1979 or 1979 or 89, I think, can't remember, he told me though. Um, so I decided to forgive the suppliers and let it go. Thought of going to lawyers and all of that but my lawyer always says what's the point of going after someone when it costs you more money to go after them than the money that you'll get from them you know so it's fine like i calculated how much they basically i i, I lost through the whole thing and i can recoup some of it and what i cannot recoup though is the disappointment to my clients which i am eternally so sorry for and i will work harder at planning and giving myself longer uh, time frames like three to six months to get stuff in before um, putting it on the site. This does mean longer waits and delays for customers, but I'd rather they wait before they pay for the product than do it after. But I am an extremely uh, grateful person at the moment. I couldn't be happier, like I'm back at my place. And I was supposed to go to Isandam for New Year's and we had, we had made provisional booking, but we hadn't, obviously you only pay when you get there. We found this awesome Airbnb uh, my boyfriend's brother found it for us when we were over at his house um we're not even like engaged yet <laughs> so we can't really stay over at um the parents house so we went to they uh, they basically found a bnb so that's the bnb that we will forever stay at in island and we love it so much so we're supposed to go there you anyway, know i'm rambling we're supposed to go there and then um i was like no i'm tired i want to go back to children and then so he's coming to join me here tomorrow or the next day he's awesome like that like very easy going he's not gonna be like how could you go back on our plans which is what i would do um so he's gonna come here and we're gonna rest and chill i must actually look if the waist cliff is open on the 31st to see if we can get like a 31st dinner otherwise i'm also very okay with chilling at home anyway that's like a life update as well really enjoying the hair i will take you guys through the journey I did a fade on the front because I actually didn't like how it sat. Did a fade at the back. Still getting used to my head shape and everything. But I'm a very happy girl. Guys, this is my last video for the year. I hope you guys have an amazing crossover to the new year, 2021. COVID stats are insane. Please stay safe. Um, we are losing so many people we know. Like when I was home, my parents were getting calls morning, afternoon, evening. Just about like insane like people passing away entire families oh it's so sad like when i was home i was feeling it a bit more because of the eastern cape and their stats they are a hot spot um so i'm staying at home most of the time i don't stay with anyone that i can infect so that gives me a lot of ease when i was home i was a bit stressed because at home um, i kept on going back to my parents and i'd keep my distance from them because they are high risk they are over the age of 60 but my parents yo i've never seen anyone who takes that many covid precautions they drink they drink ginger a mix of ginger a mix of ginger um lemon um cayenne is it cayenne pepper a little bit of cayenne pepper um and garlic and they drink that every day we call it e-covid mama took the lily covid so we're drinking that like quite often and they take a lot of um vitamins and all of that so guys please keep keep your parents safe keep yourself safe but more importantly because you're more pro probable like probabilities are that you'll survive but parents are more at risk as they are older and have more underlying just generally because of aging underlying things that might cause um just like them not making it so guys please do keep safe and yeah thank you for watching all my uh, vlogs 
Um, I don't think I'll carry on with vlogs, but I really enjoyed the part of vlogmas that I did participate in. I'm a very chill person, so you guys got to see me in my natural habitat. Oh, there's a lot of people that came with the negatives. I'm definitely not like looking for negative comments from people. So guys, if you're not going to keep it positive, please stay out of the comments. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Mwah. See that you